Well, the recent scandal uh, is obviously frustrating, not only because it affected 87 million, but because it seems to be part of a pattern of lax data practices by the company going back years. So back in 2011, it was a settlement with the FTC, and now we discover yet another instance where the data was failed to be protected. When you discovered the Cambridge Analytica that had fraudulently obtained all of this information, why didn't you inform those 87 million? When we learned in 2015 that Cambridge Analytica had bought data from an app developer on Facebook that people had shared it with, uh, we did take action. We took down the app and we demanded that both the app developer and Cambridge Analytica delete and stop using any data that they had. They told us that they did this. In retrospect, it was clearly a mistake to believe them. And yes. we should have followed up and done a full audit then. And that is not a mistake that we will make. Yes, you did that. And you uh, uh, apologize for it. But <coughs> you didn't notify them. And uh, do you think that you have an ethical obligation to notify 87 million Facebook users? Senator, when we heard back from Cambridge Analytica that they had told us that they weren't using the data and had deleted it, we considered it a closed case. <coughs> In retrospect, that was clearly a mistake. We shouldn't have taken their word for it, and we've updated our policies and how we're going to operate the company to make sure that we don't make that mistake again. Did anybody notify the FTC? No, Senator, for the same reason, that we'd considered it a closed, a closed case.